Top of the morning, salute and blessings to my real ones as always. Was watching a quick interview on Fight Hype with Jose Benavidez Sr., the father of David Benavidez and Jose Benavidez Jr. Once again, uh, not a surprise at all. Had some choice words for Canelo Alvarez. Uh, going and saying Canelo Alvarez is afraid to fight his son. Canelo Alvarez is ducking his son and he's doing everything he can to avoid that fight, basically, man. And, you know, um, before I start this video, as I always say, man, whether these haters want to believe it or not, I think David Benavidez is an excellent fighter. I think David Benavidez hasn't challenged himself as much as he could have to this point in his career, but I think David Benavidez is an excellent fighter. Now, as far as the Canelo thing, I get it. At first, you were kind of being disrespectful, out of pocket, trying to land the fight. You saw it wasn't working. Then you tried the nice politics, and you're still not getting that fight because you want to get that payday for your son. I get it. Now, once again, you're saying that Canelo is scared. Now, I don't think Canelo Alvarez is scared of fighting David Benavidez. In all reality, bro, what it boils down to is Canelo Alvarez does not need David Benavidez. I hope we get to see the fight with David Benavidez. I hope that they fight in September. I want to see Canelo and Benavidez fight, sure. You know, but logically, Canelo doesn't have to fight Benavidez, bro. He really doesn't have to, man. This is the same man, you know, is a four-weight division champion, 19 world champions under his belt, as I always say, man. You know, went up to light heavyweight to challenge himself, took an L to Bival, beat um, Sergey Kovalev, that same Sergey Kovalev that gave Andre Ward a run for his money, such a controversial win that first fight by Andre Ward that they had to run it back. That Sergey Kovalev, which people hate saying that little part, people always try to leave that little part out of it, went in there and knocked this man out. All right. And in all reality, if Canelo Alvarez retires today, he's a Hall of Famer, bro. He's a Hall of Famer. Everything he's accomplished in his career, he's in the Hall of Fame. If David Benavidez retires today, is he a Hall of Famer? How many world champions has Benavidez beat? How many weight classes has Benavidez won titles? I mean, David Benavidez, you know, a lot of people are, like, I mean, I knew that he was going to stop Boo Boo, bro. I knew that Boo Boo didn't have a chance, even though there's some, some people in the media saying he's a generational talent. There are some people in the media that are saying he's going to expose David and David has slow feet and all that. I wasn't buying none of that, bro. I knew David Benavidez was going to run through Andrade, man, in, in all honesty, because I knew David Benavidez was levels above him. And I knew David Benavidez is a giant compared to this man. David Benavidez, bro, he steps into the ring a lot of times, about 200 pounds, bro, fighting at super middleweight. You know, the question that I ask myself is why hasn't David up to date? I get it. He wants that payday. But why, and, and this is respectfully, I'm respectfully saying this, why hasn't he went up to light heavyweight to challenge himself up to this point? I mean, he's a giant of a man. Think about that, bro. Think about that. You know, Jose, um, Jose Sr., you know, he likes to say all this stuff about um, Canelo, but every time they bring up Morel, he tries to say that Morel is not ready. I mean, in my opinion, I think Benavidez would beat Morel, but I think um, Morel is a very dangerous fight for Benavidez because because how hard this man hits and um, just his aggressive style of fighting, bro, he's not going to lay down and he hits like a truck and it is a risky fight. And I feel like that's really the reason they're not taking it, bro. You could go ahead and say he's not ready for David, but you turn around and say Canelo with all his accolades and accomplishments is afraid of David. I mean, you got to keep the same energy all the way around, bro. Why doesn't David Benavidez fight David Morel if that is the case, bro? Why doesn't he give him an opportunity? Why doesn't he go up to light heavyweight and challenge one of these guys? Like I said, he's a giant of a man, bro. He's a giant of a man. And, 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 and you know, maybe you guys don't want to take no risks. Taking an L, you know, hoping to get that payday, but... I feel like David Benavidez, man, he needs to carve his own legacy. He needs to, you know, do his own legendary things in the sport of boxing and one day try to become that top dog how Canelo is. Once again, I'm saying, man, I want to see David Benavidez and Canelo fight. I want to see it. But even if Canelo Alvarez fights Benavidez, they're going to find someone else. And after that, they're going to find someone else. They're always going to find someone else. Find someone else. 
I'm telling you, this man's going to be 50 years old, retired, drinking some tequila somewhere by the ocean. And they're going to find somebody else saying that this man is duck. The next champion that this man is ducking when he's retired and 50 years old. I swear that's what it feels like, bro. But when you're the top dog, everybody's going to come after you. Sometimes people are going to have choice words that's out of pocket. But that comes with the territory, man. As my father used to say, God rest his soul, man. People don't hate on nobodies. You know, if you don't got no haters, you're probably doing something wrong, bro. And Benavidez Sr., you need to keep that same energy, bro. You need to keep that same energy. You can't turn around and say Morel's not ready. You know, but turn around and say Canelo's scared. In all reality, Canelo don't need David Benavidez. David Benavidez in the sport of boxing hasn't done a quarter percent, 25 percent of what Canelo Alvarez has done. You know, a lot of people like to say, who has Canelo beat? Who has Canelo fought? Who has David beat and fought? And again, man, I'm not trying to throw shade at Benavidez because I think David is an excellent fighter, bro. But we no never keep the same energy, man. When it comes to Canelo, people like to trash him and try to tarnish his name. But who has David beat and fought, bro? Boo-boo? Really? Boo-boo? Come on, man. Plant that went 12 rounds with him, the same plant that Canelo stopped? When Plant was undefeated, Canelo stopped, took his belt. These guys need to wake up and smell the coffee, bro. This shit is honestly at this point hilarious. Canelo Alvarez is not afraid of nobody. Canelo Alvarez, man, been in there with big punchers. Been in there with, with dudes at light heavyweight. Man, this dude has done it all, bro. And it's time you put some respect on his name. You know, you can't go ahead and try to clown his resume. You know, and, and who's David fought? You know what I mean? This is my thoughts and my opinions. I know haters are going to hate in the comments. Real ones going to support in the comments. But this is my thoughts and my opinions, man. Let me know what you guys feel about this whole situation. You think Canelo Alvarez really is afraid of David Benavidez? I just think at the end of the day, man, he's just stacking up his money. And in all reality, he knows that David needs him. He doesn't need David. We out of here.